And so I'm Cindy Eiler, for those of you who may not recognize me. And I have decided to start doing some YouTubes for uh, raw, raw food recipes or information on raw food for beginners. Am I an expert? No. By, by all means, no, I'm not an expert. But as I'm learning, and, and I've been on and off it for, geez, probably over five years, I do have some tips and what has made it easier this time around, I just started getting back on my journey about a month ago, so I'm doing my raw green juices every day and my smoothies with all my supplements um, every day and incorporating more and more raw food into my diet. So I would say I'm between 85 to 90% raw. Uh, I'm at a point now where I can tell um, very obviously when I eat cooked food that it makes me feel sick and raw food just makes me feel vibrant and happy and really clear. So um, I just really wanted to share my journey with you. Um, I'm on a journey um, getting back to hopefully 100% raw, but in the meantime having a lot of fun with it. I was hoping to start a show called The Raw Goddess, Guru, and the Guy, but the guru and the guy they just haven't shown up to, to help me out yet. Welcome to my uh, raw food journey. And um, this is great for beginners. Or you might just kind of like to hang out with me even if you're not a beginner. So today I'm going to do a really um, easy recipe. And it's my first time doing it. Um, but it looks pretty easy. And we'll see how it comes out. But I love chips. So one thing that I've found that really helps is if there's something I really love that or like, I guess I don't love chips, but something that I like to eat that's not really good for you that's cooked, I am doing my best to find alternatives for those, those things. And I've had kale chips before and I love them. And so I'm going to make kale chips dehydrated so they're still um, considered live, raw, whatever, um, and much better for you than the average potato chip, obviously. So come join me in the kitchen. So what I'm doing here is um, working with the kale, the stems from the kale. So I hope you can see all these stems. And this is the kale that I've de-stemmed. Let's continue on. So what we're doing is taking this stem out. Now one thing, it's really easy, I'm just taking my knife and that's pretty much it and I'm separating it. But one thing I love about raw foods and eating healthy like this is when you're using just fresh vegetables and, and um, fruit, you can, I call it recycle, that's probably not the right word for it. <laughs> But um, I, I use every part of the vegetable. So tomorrow, I'm going to save these, and I'm going to use them in my juice tomorrow. But anyway, these are going to be saved for my juicing tomorrow. And this is two bunches of kale that I've, um, that I've um, already cut out the stem. Now, I found out about a great seed oil today. And I was looking to see, um, because this, the recipe calls for olive oil, and I was wondering what is the difference between grapeseed oil and olive oil. And they say that they're both equally good for you, that they um, do not, um, there's no issues with cholesterol with them. But there is a taste difference, and obviously one's made from grape seeds and one's made from olives. Now, I've never tasted grape, grape seed oil. But I'm going to taste it now. Um, I guess if I ate a grape seed, that's what it would taste like. So, what I'm going to do for our recipes today, because a lot of um, what I'm doing for, excuse me, a lot of what I'm doing for, um, my recipes is I make half one way and half the other way because 
I want to see if it tastes better one way or another. That's the one thing I found out about raw foods. When you're making any recipes, that you have to experiment. Because some things don't taste good the way you see them. And then I see that people would give up too easily um, and just say they don't like it and they don't try it again. But if they try things different ways, they might just surprise themselves. Like I totally surprised myself on a eggplant di dish I made the other day. And I'm having so much fun experimenting. So I'm going to do half of half of this with grape seed oil and um, Mediterranean salt or Celtic salt, and half with um, olive oil. So I'm just they say like a tablespoon. So I'm just gonna put a tablespoon of each in here. I don't know if that's a tablespoon. I hope it is. And just a little bit of salt. And you know, I even thought of maybe making um putting other spices in there, but I want to try it this way first just to see how it tastes. So what I'm going to do is just break these into pieces. I hope you guys can see. You know, it's I have to do my own camera work. So, it's, I got to figure this part out, guys. This is you know, my first cooking video. So, we'll see how it goes. So what I'm going to do is just break these up into chip size pieces and I'm trying to hurry because maybe that's not so interesting to you. And then I'm going to have to keep track of which one is olive oil and which one is grapeseed oil, so I'll know which one I ended up liking better. But, um, anyway, we'll see. So, I have a lot more to do, but I'm going to only demonstrate with a little here. So, as you can see, I'm tossing this. These are kind of big pieces, but I guess that's okay. And there's more um, mixture, the olive oil stuff and the grapeseed stuff, than there is uh, the kale because I'm not going to bore you doing all of this on camera. I'm just going to show you how I'm making it and what I do with it. And then off camera, I'll make it, make the rest because I want a lot. I want a lot of kale chips. So, pretend like I did all of those things, and now I have to get my dehydrator sheet and lay them out on the dehydrator sheet. So, I have an Excalibur uh, dehydrator here, and this one is the uh, great seed mixture and I'm just going to lay them out on my dehydrator sheet like this so I have nine of these so I could really spread them out a little bit but I'm just showing you this little bit of mount so that's the grape seed, and this one is olive oil mix. If you guys have never had kale chips and you like snacks or you need to assault, you have a salt attack like I do sometimes, this is a really great way to stay raw and get some, have that taste of salt and chips, because they do come out crispy. And then, um, 
you can have a healthy snack. Now, I only did two trays, but like I said, I'm going to do more. I just kept, I think my biggest thing here is making sure that I remember which mixture was which. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take out these extra sheets because I'm going to make more, so I'm going to fill a few of these racks up. Make, okay, the olive oil one is in the bottom, and the grapeseed one is on the top, and you would probably not do all shelves because you need some space. Let's see. Um, so this is the cover. You remember if you're going to do any dehydrating, it's recommended really not, I think they say 117 degrees, but I always go, I usually go 110. Um, this says 115, so I'm going to go ahead and do 115. Four to six hours. So I'm going to put it at 115. And then I put it on here for, I'm going to do five hours, oh, I'll see four hours to see if that works. And do you hear it? It's already cooking. Well, it's not cooking, it's uncooking, it's live cooking, okay? So, um, but I'm actually going to turn it off because I need to do the rest. So anyway, that's kale chips, and I'll be back to show you the finished product. So... We're back with the kale, and um, it cut, it dehydrated for less than four hours. So make sure you watch it. Make sure you don't do this overnight because um, it would be way too crispy. So here's, um, I ended up filling four trays, and they were completely covered, and that's like what it came to for one tray. Isn't that weird? So this this is the uh, as you remember I made grape grape seed and olive oil. So these are the grape seed. And see, they're very you hear that? They're really crispy. And they are um well they taste like crispy kale, I guess. With the grape seed, it's a little, puts a little moisture to it, but it is crispy. And um, so I'm just going to put these grape seed ones into the bowl. And then this is the olive oil one. And I'm going to try one of these. Well, those are crispy tasting kales too, but I don't know. Personally, I think I like the grapeseed ones better. These are okay. But they remind me of seaweed, actually. With the olive oil, to me, it tastes like seaweed more than kale. But um, I've seen people make kale chips where they dip it in like a ba light batter. So they put like, um, like olive oil and the sea salt and then other spices. I even saw them do it with raw cheese, like somehow they put the raw cheese in the mixture. Um, so you can dress it up. Rick, a.k.a. the guy that isn't here along with the guru, didn't like these. He said it didn't taste good to him. But you know what? I like them. And I plan on eating my kale chips. Whenever I get that urge for something crunchy and salty, yet healthy, these are the kale chips. Ch check them out. I'd highly recommend it. But I would say season them with other things besides 
this plain way of doing it with grapeseed and sea salt or olive oil and sea salt. 